Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today we're continuing the best free photo editing apps on your iPhone and we're continuing this one with Photoshop's take called PS Express. Let's get started. All right, so a lot of us probably already know what Photoshop is when it comes to photo editing on a computer, but PS Express is Photoshop's application that kind of allows you to do a little bit of editing on your phone. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up right here, and you have a few options that you can go through. You can choose photos on your phone, your camera, Facebook, Creative Cloud, and Dropbox. For this video, we're gonna use on our phone and select an image, and we'll be brought to our main page here where we can begin editing and modifying our photos. Now just off the bat here our photo looks like this you can zoom in and out of it just by pinching which is pretty much the norm for a lot of these applications it starts you off at the bottom left here which it calls looks but it's more like filters and we'll just go through a couple of them so you can see that it kind of just adds filters to the picture so if you like to use filters you can that actually looks really cool and then we also have premium looks here. Now the premium looks, you would have to have an Adobe account. So if you do have an Adobe account, you could enter that in. For example, if I tap on that, it'll allow you to see it. But uh, in order for you to kind of move on to the next thing, it'll give you a pop-up like this. And it just says access this feature for free by signing in with your Adobe ID. So we're just gonna go ahead, leave it at normal. And then on the right side here, we have my looks, which basically allows you to add your own looks so you can save your custom looks that you've used and then use them as presets by adding them here. So that's looks. This one here is basically our crop and it's going to allow you to crop the picture if you wanted to cut it down a little bit. So let's say we wanted to pull down a little bit of the sky because it's too long. You can also straighten the image or curve it. So if you want it on an angle or you just want it nice and straight, you could do that. Then there's these features here, which just spin the photo around. This one here is going to flip it. So if you wanted it to appear the other way, some people don't like how their selfies on the iPhone camera, it kind of gives you that mirrored look. If you don't like that, you can take it in the photo editor here and then just flip the image. A lot of people like that. And then this one here does the same thing just vertically. And right here, if you select this, you have sizes that you can sort of crop the photo in. So you can see right here that we have unconstrained, you also have device, square, so you can just kind of see examples of the sizes that it's going to put together, and then you also have preset sizes. When you're happy with a specific size for your photo, you can easily move on to the next feature here, which is our actual editing features. And this is going to allow you to do things like sharpen, change the saturation, etc. So we'll start off by clarity here if you want it to be a little bit more clear give it a little more clarity we got sharpen here which zooms in the photo and then you can really get a better look at how it's going to look when it's really sharp I personally don't like to go too sharp because it looks a little odd again we have a couple of premium features here so you need the Adobe account now we got exposure so if you want it to be really bright that almost makes it look like a winter day you can kind of darken it up a little bit one thing to note that a lot of these tabs, for example, this one here, you don't see it, but if you move over to highlights, you have an auto highlight on shadows, you have auto shadow. So if you wanted to tap on auto shadow, it would automatically generate the shadow that it believes is best. If we go to the temperature here, we also have an auto, we can turn that on as well. And it makes editing a lot easier for you because it's doing it based on the photo. So you're going to get the best look possible. And then lastly here, we have tint. If you wanted to play around with the tint, you could. And then right here, vibrance. So if you wanted to make it more vibrant, which look at that, it pulls the water from the background. You couldn't even tell kind of, it kind of faded away, but you pull it all the way over here, you get the nice greens, the water in the background, the sky has that kind of white to blue look. It really makes the photo pop. You gotta watch out with this because it could become a little bit too fake looking. Green grass doesn't really look that green to be honest. So you kind of want to lower it down a little bit and uh, make it look a little bit more real. Next, we have the section here which allows you to fix red eye. And if you had photos with people in it, you can fix the red eyes. You can also do that with pets right here. Beside that, we have this feature here which is going to allow you to kind of put borders and edges and things like that around your photo. So just to give you an example, we'll move one over here. This one here will give you a better example, kind of gives you that faded shadow look around in a circle. Then you've got some of these which is going to add frames around them, so this circular frame dark circular frame then we got the vertical and with these you can actually move over to edges here so if we tap on edges at the top you can create these kind of 
uh, faded edges, old style looking edges, and more design looking edges. And then frames, same deal. If you wanted to add a frame around your photo, you could, and it would look a little bit different like so. And I, honestly, I don't really use these features all that much. I'm mainly for the editing features. So that's really where I'm, where my focus is. This will allow you to do blemish removal. Now this photo here doesn't have anything going on with that, but basically we'll zoom in here. If you tap, it's kind of going to swirl around and add the blemish removal. If you use that or if you want to use that, it's totally up to you. And uh, honestly, I've never used it. I don't use it. And uh, it's a feature if that's something you like. Now, the main thing here, if we just go back, let's just go all the way back to the beginning here. If you tap up top here, it's going to have the auto enhance feature. And that's that little feature right there. So this way, it automatically does everything for you. It makes it really simple, really easy. If you're someone who just wants the picture to be a little bit enhanced, that's going to do it for you. You don't want to play around with all the editing features. Now, this next tab up here, if we tap on it, brings you back to its original look. And then as soon as you touch anything, it goes back. So if at any time while you're editing, you kind of thought, what did I do to this photo or something? You can tap the original up here and get a complete look at the original. Beside that, if we tap on this right here, it's going to promote a feature here that allows you to create across applications. You can set that up if you want. And then lastly, on the right side here, if we tap on that, that's our traditional share button, if I can get my finger on there. And this will allow you to save it to your camera roll, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, many social media sites, even WhatsApp is included. And then if you tap on more here, this is where you can open it with a certain application. So this is your traditional share features that you're used to if you use an iPhone and you can share it all across different platforms. And that's pretty much the application. So that's PS Express and it's kind of becoming my go-to, especially for those of you who like to take selfies, the ability to flip your photo around really easily is going to be a definite benefit for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box. Don't forget to follow me, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.